Without further ado, I am honored to invite to the podium your student speaker, Justin Nagel. We come here today as we conclude our times as undergraduates here at the Eller College. And I know we are all really glad to be here. The Eller College has been an inspiration to all of us. And for me personally, Carl Eller has been a great inspiration. And the unfortunate reason for that inspiration is that he failed miserably. As we know, Circle Kane went to bankruptcy while he was at the helm. And he walked away with more debt than I will probably ever earn in a lifetime. But Carl Eller didn't give up. He spoke about his failure even as he climbed back up the ladder and became unimaginably successful as we know him today. I take heart in his message is that we learn more from our failures than we do from our successes. As long as we don't let the failures stop us from trying again, more knowledgeable, and more purposefully. So Carl Eller established the entrepreneurship program here at the Eller College. And I applied for that program. And yes, I got the small envelope. That's right, I didn't get in. <laughs> well, I took Carl Eller's cue, and I was persistent. And I kept trying and trying, and they finally let me in. The program has been a great experience for me and has given me the confidence to venture out in the unstructured world of reality, if not fearless, then at least less fearful than I would have otherwise been. I think we, all of us, have this in common. We come out of Elder with a sense of confidence that we have gotten somewhere, that we understand what businesses do, how we need to work in teams, and what it takes for both us and the enterprises we work for to succeed. For me, I'm ready to fail again. Now I must tell my mom and dad something. No, failure is not my goal. I'm sure they're worried about this one. My goal is, like everyone else is here, is to be enormously successful in life, in wealth, in health, and relationships. I'm just conscious that failure is both a possibility and a necessary risk that one has to take to succeed. It is not the way I hope to learn my next set of lessons, but if failure does happen, I can promise you I will learn from it. Eller has taught me that. So we are all here packing up and getting ready to go home. We toss in our alarm clocks that never fail to remind us of our 8 a.m. classes. And we also sit there packing some clothes we can barely identify now. And as of this morning, I had my parents ask me whose suit I borrowed. Well, we leave here today, not only with a diploma, but with memories that we will share for a lifetime. We've merged our lives in so many ways. It is hardest now to separate from all of you who have come to mean so much to me. I'd like to believe that when we leave here, we aren't going to lose these bonds of friendship that we have formed. Many of us would have never predicted the friends we would choose while here, or the closeness we would feel to the people who we thought were so different, but yet were not. As Woodrow Wilson said, I not only use all the brains that I have, but all that I can borrow. To all of you who have helped me or each other as we have moved along in this journey, and to all of those who keep on working with me or with our other classmates to help us keep life and balance and on target, thank you. Now let's leave here today and we'll show the world that we are the next CEOs, top executives, and most of all, leaders. Thank you to our parents, thank you to our faculty, and congratulations to the graduates of December class of 2004. Thank you.